Welcome back to our tech. Today I'm going to teach you guys to make a very simple motion sensor based LED step light. Okay, so I have a flight of stairs which leads to my doorway and I always felt that it'll be nice to have some set of lights which need not work all the time but using a sensor I could control the way it switches on and automatically switches off. I've taken a video of this once I finished the whole project. I know it looks a little dull, but uh, this is because I dimmed the light a bit and you would notice that the video is not so clear. That's because I've shot it on my mobile phone. I'm sorry about the quality, but these look much better when I click a photo and uh, they're much better to look at in real life. So I'll teach you guys how to make this at home and you might just need to buy some of this stuff and it's very easy to make and you will really really be happy to make this at home as well. So the components will consist of buying a few LEDs, you will need a sensor, you will need to work with electricity so I would suggest you guys to be a little careful and I also hope that you have some provisions to put some sort of lights. You need not use the modules, LED modules I'm using here, but you can even use rope lamps if you have LED strip lamps, which are waterproof. So these are a set of three LEDs, which are actually waterproof. And these can be pasted because it's got a double sided 3M tape. And I also had provisions of uh, inbuilt wiring, which just runs across my stairs. So I could just plug them in and power it on. So it was very easy for me to do that. But if you don't have it, you can even run the wire outside. So that's fine. So the setup you see here is with wires inside the wall. I still had to put some wires outside, but for the most part, the wires were inside. All right, so here are the components you need. So you need uh, base LEDs, which run on 12 volts. So it could be any shape or any kind of form you need. I, I just picked up these. Uh, I already had these at home, in fact. And uh, these are called the 50503 LED modules. Uh, you can split them up and cut them and paste them. Just make sure that, you know, uh, these are waterproof. I, I would recommend waterproof when you're working with something outside. So th these were just catching dust. So I, I had happened to get them and I just thought, let me use them for something. And these are the warm white ones, right? So just make sure that uh, you know the terminals are wired correctly. So the plus and minus is mentioned there. So if you're grouping them together, make sure that all the positives and negatives are wired appropriately right you also need a PIR sensor and this one's a little bit expensive on Amazon India but was very cheap on eBay as well as uh, some of the uh, other sites so if you get one of these it costs you about thousand bucks a very simple device this works on 12 volts you also get a 220 volt option on this one. So just make sure that you buy the one which is a 12 volt uh, adapter. You can see that this has got a nice uh, system to mount it anywhere you want, provided you drill holes. I just wanted to do it quickly, so I haven't done that, but just wanted to give you a closer look how small this thing is. So it's got all the sensors behind the plastic shield in front, and this can be bent as well. And this is a 12 volt version. A little bit about the technicalities of this thing. So it's got three options. One is to control the amount of light, light that you want this to work at, amount of time you want the light to stay on, and also the amount of brightness you want this to start working at. So you can adjust those knobs and you can make it work accordingly. Three wires, one uh, positive output which goes in and one positive out which comes out. There's one negative which is always hooked onto this. So a little bit of circuit diagram just in case you want some help, but I'm sure you guys will figure it out. It's very simple. So I connected uh, uh, this whole unit to the LED. Okay, so that is my setup. I have the LED modules on this small plate, which I mounted. So the wires are running behind the wall and uh, this helps me save some of the clutter. But if you have no options to do this, but you can still see that I have wires outside. But if you have wires outside, that's fine. If you use a, you could probably use a strip, rope strip, so that you know the whole thing is just covered as one line of LED and you don't have to run the wires. So that's my uh, setup. I have mounted the PIR sensor right on top. Uh, there's a adapter running at the back of another panel, so that's powering this up. 
and once the power comes in it will go through these wires and then power these LEDs based on movement and based on the time I've set. As you can see I put these outside and having them waterproof is kind of takes off a lot of headache so you don't have to worry about what falls on it and what's happening outside. So that's the basic setup. The one thing I was worried about was the range of the PIR sensor. This was nearly uh, 10 feet high and I had a staircase that runs another 10 feet below. So I don't know whether it's going to work but uh, I had hooked the whole system up. So let's have a look. So everything is connected now. I can just go ahead and power it up. So the double sided tape really makes it easy to install the whole thing. So I've covered the sensor with a with, with tape so that it starts working and this is how it will look in the morning. It looks much better in the evening. Alright, so that's the sensor which is right there on top. And the moment I move close to my stairs, it switches on. So I'm just going to see how it works in complete darkness again. Okay, I'm walking and it should come on anytime. There you go. Remember, these are working at full brightness right now. And I just felt they were too bright. They looked a little too um, artificial. So I kind of wanted to make them a little dimmer. So now you see them really bright, but towards the end, you know, I added a resistor and made them a little dim. And again, the problem with the range. So when I, when I was actually climbing up my stairs, I noticed that they don't start working immediately. That's because it just cannot sense me. I have to climb up about four stairs and that's when it starts working. So just remember that's a small drawback, but then that's what you get for this whole setup, which will cost you less than say 2000 bucks. If you have any doubts or queries as to how to do this, let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to help. So that's my short review, a very useful device if you have kids at home as well. And it can really help ease your movement across the stairs. Thank you so much for watching our tech. Please do hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.